house and everything else and the gym. Mm -hmm. It's time to praise the Lord. It's mm -hmm. time for everything. Lift up your hands. I'm not going to be long because we have someone else coming behind. <laughs> Circumstances, come on and pray. All right, let's praise. Everything, everything will be all right. Woo! All right, okay, let's pray. Let's pray because I tell you, it's a rapper in this building. I'm ready to hear what he have to say. Yeah. Heavenly Father, I come before you right now, dear Lord. Lord, I just want to give you your time. You are there who are listening. Let's just praise the Lord. Let's just honor him. He is God and he is worthy to be praised. In spite of our circumstance, in spite of the situation, in spite of our disappointment, we're going to trust God. We're going to have faith in God and we're going to believe God is able to do what he said. And he is God. Let's just give him the glory. I thank you, Lord Jesus. In spite, dear God, of what the enemy said, I know, God, you have more power. He's trying all he can to do, but I thank God because God, he has power over the enemy. He has power over our defeat. Let's just give God the praise. In spite of all these situations, in spite of the crisis, in spite of those that are suffering, I pray, dear Lord, for the bereavement family, dear Lord. We know many families in bereavement. I pray especially for those, the family of the two brothers, the Kirkpatrick. Lord, bless the mother, bless the wives and the children. Lord, yeah, let is. them know in spite, their God, of death, that they'll see their family one day. Lord, just comfort them right now. All the other bereavement, we, the God, as a community, going to lift. In spite of death, in spite of circumstances, Lord, yeah. we're going to praise you. Uh -huh. We're going to give you the glory, Lord. We have faith and confidence. We believe your word. The word of God is what's going to keep us, Lord. And I thank you for your word. Your word is comfort. I say, families, get into the word. The word will comfort you. Yeah. The word will give you peace. The word will uplift you. Come on, let's praise him. Let us pray in our heart. Let's meditate on the word every day. Let's make Melanie each day in our heart to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. Let's repeat to our Father, everyone or there. Let's come on. Our Father, mm -hmm. which art in heaven, hello be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation oh but deliver us deliver us deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom lord and the power and the glory and, and forever and ever yes. amen amen amen, amen. praise the lord praise the woman lord and child. all Have right we're gonna hear the story now mm -hmm. just listen to the story of jesus mm -hmm. hear the story oh a little a little young rapper is here don't leave don't leave you a gospel rapper right all right, a gospel rapper is here. So don't leave. Don't leave. A young, good-looking man is coming, and he's going to take my seat. So you're going to hear more. Don't leave. Call someone and tell them a young rapper is, gospel rapper is coming. Okay, now. Okay, uh, it's Nate is the name, I think. Isn't it? Yes, Nate? sir. Okay. Nate, let me... Uh, I'm going to uh, multitude some words with you, Nate. We got this background going, and I'm going to go ahead and use it for right now to uh, uh, make a change here. So, uh, um, We're going to first be, uh, I'm on, I'm on, what is your whole name, Nathan? My real name is Nate Davis. Nate Davis. Yes, sir. My artist name is Zero Doubt. Odell? Zero Doubt. Zero Doubt. Yes, sir. Okay. That's interesting. <laughs> um, Nate, uh, how long have you been doing Christian rap? I've been doing Christian rap. See, I got saved in 03. In 03? Uh, from 03 to 04. I just really took time out to study the word because you can't really rap about something you don't know. Okay. And, and so uh, around 04 is when I was exposed to gospel rap for the very first time at a gospel explosion here in Cleveland, Tennessee. Okay. And uh, I left that gospel explosion with the thoughts. Like, man, I wonder if I could do that because I've always been around music, love mm -hmm. music. 
and here was an opportunity to really transform people's lives through the word. Mm-hmm. And uh, God gave me the anointing and the gift to do it. And I say in 05, I came out with my first, um, I guess you could say like an underground CD. Okay. Me and a friend of mine. I actually did two CDs in 2005. Well, how many um, songs is on your CDs now? Uh, my new CD is called Born to Win. It's my first official CD, mm-hmm. professionally done. Uh, it has 11 tracks on it, 11 full songs. And um, it's truly been a blessing to me and also the people that have come in contact with it. Okay. But Nate, it sounds like, do you get pretty busy? Do you go to a lot of concerts? Uh, Nate? Um, I do I do quite a bit. Um, you know, different events like, you know, gospel explosions, youth events, mm-hmm. youth conferences. Uh, even at our church, we have something called Hip Hop Sunday at mm-hmm. Newman Christian Center every fourth Sunday. So I'm always involved with that as well. So... You know, just whatever I can be used doing, you know, I'll I'll do it for the glory mm-hmm. of the kingdom of God. Okay. Well, uh, I'm going to see if we can get on one of your songs here in a few minutes, one of your CDs, and okay. see what it really be like. Maybe. Okay, sounds good. Well, do you get to travel a little bit? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've, like I said, I started doing it in 05, and since then I've been able to go uh, pretty much over the southern region, um, seen a lot of different things, uh, been with some great people, even shared, the, I always tell people I got to share the the stage with Lecrae. Okay. So uh, probably the one of the best and most world. Is known. that a is that a, a, a slang word? Lecrae? The, yeah. No, uh, that's a uh, an artist name. Okay. Yeah. A lot okay. of people know him. He's he's worldwide right now. He's okay. he's major. Well, and actually I shared the stage with him back in two thousand six. So that really gave you that boost that you needed to really make it happen. Well I mean I really didn't really know um who he was, I knew of him, but I didn't know how major he was. Mm-hmm. And so the opportunity to share the stage with him and tell people about it today has been, you know, it's a grateful thing for me. So that, that gospel rap has really gave him a, um, I guess just put him in a new home and a new car. Huh? Yeah, I mean, you know, God takes care of his people, you know yeah, what I'm saying, especially what I'm when you're doing this that. business. Mm-hmm. So, absolutely. Okay. Well, Nate, it's good to have you on board, and we're going to give you a few minutes here, and we're going to listen to one of your CDs. and. Okay. Um, and um, there's a lot of people who likes a variety of music. Let's see if the people's like a little Christian rap up in here. I'm Absolutely. sure they do. Yeah, they do. Let's we'll yeah. see what we got. Yeah, we got the CD in here, Matador, called Zero Doubt. Mm-hmm. And this is Nate. Nate, this is Fro Daddy yeah, U.S. What's going Fro on, Daddy? Nate? How you doing, mm-hmm. sir? Pleasure to meet you What's finally. I've Good to meet you. Heard a lot about you. Seen I believe you uh, your wife works over next door, doesn't yeah, she? Yes, she does. Yeah, she came <laughs> by one day and talking to Matador and sneaking around. Said, what are y'all talking about? <laughs> mm-hmm. My husband's a. I know y'all probably don't want to hear it. <laughs> what? Yeah, he's a he's a Christian rapper, man. Yeah. You know, in the big time. I said, "Hey, man, bring a CD. Let's hear some." Yeah, let's do it. This is a Hump Day horoscope Hump Day, and we <laughs> we have Miss Norman here giving the blessing. We might as well have some good rap music. That's let's right, some Christian rap. I was gonna play this one off of your uh, CD. It's called I love it. Coal Mine Productions. C O A L. Now, yes, what does C O A L stand for? That's a acronym um, for Caretakers of Anointed Lyrics. Okay, so Coal nothing, Mine. You know, nothing is coming out that's not anointed and biblical. Well, now, where else can you play here like a coal miner's daughter? We play here. Might as well coal mine production. What's the difference? <laughs> See what it is. And this is Nate, and uh, this is off his Born to Win CD. Yes, sir. Zero Doubt. And this is a song called Born to Win. Yeah, it's my feature track. track. Yeah, right. And features Christy Williams. Yeah, she's a sister of mine that goes to church with us at uh, Numa Christian Center and has an awesome voice. Cool. Let's listen to one of your tracks off here uh, from Nate and Zero Doubt, Born to Win, and uh, we'll be right back. Destined, man. It just took me taking some time out to dig in and find out what my destiny was. <laughs> the champ is here. Yeah. God taught me how to love again. Living holy cause I'm free from sin. Champion, champion, all because of God, God living in 
when I once was conceived as a seed. That's when I received everything essential to this life, just like how to breathe and how to take a team and lead them to the destiny. Home of the state champs, Union City, Tennessee. Most knew my games, others had to find out. They were told to bring lamps, cause I shot the lights out. While the critics doubted, I developed winning streaks every seven days till your boy was like winning week. It was who I was, not who I was finna be. God put this gift on the inside like arteries. Now my mindset is victory is part of me, and win is all I know, and nobody told me differently. So I stayed cool like I had a lot of fans. All glory to the sun like a lot of tans. But the sun that I'm talking about is Jesus, the one that turned my doubters into bona fide believers born to win. God taught me how to love again. Kindred, fresh off a of graduation, blessed to be a blessing. I will make of thee a great nation. I believe that I received so in Cleveland, loaded up the 84 Chevy, and I settled in. Met some new friends, Rick Shea and Jesse. Holy Ghost ordained, cause these three dudes bless me. Made some new haters too, but they can't stress me. Embrace persecution when the devil tried to test me. Like the time this dude had a double girl shotgun pointed at my face, and all I heard was the word. But I fear no man and I believe in Psalms 91 Plus I got my angels on the scene Walked away with my life, no holes in it My enemies lose, your homeboy still winning Still grinning, still living that good life All glory to my Savior, Jesus Christ God taught me how to love again Would never amount to nothing. Man, they was right because your boy became something. Blessed man of God with a ministry and family. My wife's so fine, people offer cash to be me. Five boys and we blessed like olive trees. All leaving high school early, going to the league. And they know that Jesus Christ is the way. So no matter what happens, they gon' prosper anyway. And we all love people, cause it's about people. We do it in this lifetime, not in a sequel. Live transparent life. Like something you can see through Celebrate together like the teams on a we do See we've been through the fire and the flood H2O equals water, add dirt, you get mud Man, we win so much, people say it ain't fair But neither is God's favor, so really we don't care Born to win God taught me how to love again about me you think about a champion but all glory goes to the Jesus Christ that I serve <laughs> yeah all right Nate that's pretty chill right there now uh, <laughs> Thank you, Nate. I, know, I, was, I was telling Nate, you know uh, we have a Christian uh, or gospel Sundays in here and 24 hour uh, all day on Sunday we play uh, there's no DJs in here but we play some uh, when we say uh, Christian gospel, uh, we're talking old timey Hick Town Appalachia. <laughs> I'm talking knee slapping, serpent biting, gospel <laughs> singing, screaming. You talking about some redneck I might jamming? Say, I might say if my boys will jamming slip with in, the redneck kind of music. Yeah, rolling like a redneck. Rolling like a redneck. Uh, we might see if the boys to be get a might slap some of this on, on Sunday to mix it up a little bit, yeah, get some good. of the young folk involved. Absolutely, they need to be. Nate, I appreciate it. Welcome, sir. Nate, that's pretty sharp, brother. Uh, sharp. My door, we need to chat and get on some uh, stuff real quick, and then uh, we got to get caught up, man. We've had so many guests in here. I hadn't had time to even take a break, have I? Well, let me ask Nate, when is your next oh, yeah. gig, uh, Nathan? Uh, my next gig is going to be July 20th, 21st, and 22nd at our church, Newman Christian Center. 
we're having a uh, youth conference called MP12, mm-hmm. which is called uh, Mission Possible 12. And uh, we'll have youth groups from all over the country, all over the world coming in. That's going to be a big event there, Yeah, brother. it's going to be major. Um, mm-hmm. Actually, one of the guys that most of the people in the world know, his name used to be Mace. He used to run with uh, P. Diddy and 50 Cent. He's actually <laughs> uh, left that game. Yes, he that, changed his way. He yeah. changed his ways. <laughs> now his name is, uh, he's a minister, has his own church, Mason Betha. And uh, he's going to be there speaking to the youth also about his story and just the way God changed his life and things. Well, like I'll tell that. you what, we're here for you, Nate. Uh, when this gets ready to happen, um, you said the 26th? Uh, 20th, 21st, and 22nd. Okay, come back and we'll publicize this a little bit more and uh, make sure the people knows it. Well, okay. we won't forget it. All right, sounds yeah, at good least, to me. At least call in or something. <laughs> Let, Let us know what's know. going on. Yeah. I can do it. Okay, uh, Nate. Hey, Fro Dad, you're live on Whoop. I want to hear my horse go. Okay, yeah. Ally. Hey, Nate, I don't want to have to put you through this, so I appreciate you, man. Good to see you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Uh, all right, Ella. We <laughs> got a guest in here, but I'll go ahead and read your scoroscope. Okay. Ella's a Leo. Hi. No, she ain't. Now. Yes. Leo the lion. Ooh. Or the cheetah. Or what is she, a cougar? Ready or not, Ella, here we come. And I must say, it's a hot, a hot, a hot, a hot, a cougar. <laughs> hey, uh, Ella, don't forget to advertise all week. Uh, uh, tomorrow and Friday all day while you're riding the bus, don't forget to tell everybody to get the Seth or buses to all congregate at Pokies and drop everybody off. We're going to have a healing and a and a party like never seen before with convertible at Pokies this Friday night. It's going to be different. Yeah. I got dancers coming in from Chicago. It's going to be big time. Horn section. Okay. I uh, got a big spaceship that we're landing in out in the parking lot right before the show like a Parliament Funkadelic. All right. All right, Leo. Ella, ha, ha. being fair-minded and unbiased is required if you hope to win others over to your point of view. All right. Don't forget to be unbiased. Don't pick one side or the other. And tell it like it is, brother. Tell it like it is. Well, Ella, you bring a lot of people out when you go out mm-hmm. dancing. You, you, you bring a lot right of on. people out. Yeah. They go out and dance and have a good time, All right. too. Mm-hmm. Hey, I was at the okay. Scoops and Burgers last night. Really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Did you get a banana yeah, split? Uh, gospel singing. Oh, all right. Man. Well, all right then. Having a free Fourth of July thing with free food. The people that sing up there. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Well. Starting at six o'clock. Why don't you go sing them a Christian gospel song so you can get free food? <laughs> well, that's supposed to take me up there Wednesday. So all right. <laughs> well, all right, Ella, and uh, we'll, I'm sure we'll see you at Pokies. I know you will. Ah. <laughs> all right. Bye bye. Goodbye, Ella. All right. All right, Matt, are you ready to start the show? Let's start it, home. Welcome to today's show. Yes. It's uh, 4.46. we got about 15 minutes left before the live drive job at 5. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Uh, we're going to chat for a minute, and I'm going to play Chick Willis, I Want a Big Fat Woman. Yeah. For W.P. Brooks, if he's still logged on out there, I believe he might I be. I mean, no offense or anything. Right on. My woman ain't fit. She just kind of plump, home. Yeah, I got it. We're going to do it just for you because I know you like to get squished. Well, I'll tell you what, by God, ain't nothing like my sponsor because she can roll on top of me and it don't hurt, by God. You got that right, like a fudgicle and stuff. Don't of say that now. All right, then. Hey, Mandora. Sneak. Hey, check this out, Mandora. I saw a big uh, ad in the paper and it had truckloads of flat screens TVs at blowout prices. Mm hmm truckloads at blowout prices at u.s money shops you're kidding me uh-huh they're having a big old tent sale well what you had to pay for one of them baby well about three hundred dollars you kidding me like, i'm telling you not now what size are these no and listen to this uh now this they're having a truckloads they're bringing some truckload of stuff and uh, when they loading in all this to all their other sites they're wow. bringing it into cleveland yeah. and it's uh right here uh behind the village green 500 south lee highway you can't miss it right here at u.s money shops yeah uh, they've got truckloads, and they're going to put a big tent out here. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, that's this Friday yeah. from 9 to 6. All right. And Saturday from 9 to uh, 5, I think. Ooh. Might be 6. I can't read. Uh, so, anyway, Friday and Saturday, all day, outside tent sale, they've got musical equipment, acoustic guitars, electric guitars starting at $69. they got <laughs> bicycles as low as nineteen ninety nine. You kidding me. Matt Dorr, you paid six fifty. You could have got 42 well, bicycles. Lord, I sure could have. Tools as low as nine ninety nine. Tons of circular saws, lawnmowers, power drills, and more. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they also pay top dollar for your gold if you want to sell some gold or whatever. Boy. Now, listen, they've got Glocks coming in. Third generation 23s and 22s. $349. Wow. Three forty nine for a Glock. Oh, you got your income tax check yet? I don't get one. Well, I wonder why. I don't have any. 
You on the other side of the track, ain't you? That's right. Yeah, I yeah. owe them. They don't owe me. Well, I'm telling you, better come on down yeah. to my place. You got that right. Hey, Matt, I was yeah. going by the uh, down Old Coy Street today and headed back down here to Whoop, mm-hmm. right in front of Lee University. And I got down there to the thing, and there's all these kids out there digging around in the planter there by those, uh, you know, those monuments down there? Digging. I can dig. Where the Confederate soldier monument? Yeah, so. Did you ever ask him why they didn't have one for the black uh, soldiers? They just well, had that, that white guy. A, well, that is a black soldier up there. He's half Negro. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. He's like kind of like Obama. Yeah, he's half. He's about half and half. Yeah. He's a high yellow is what he is. No, he wasn't yellow. He was uh, just a Well, anyway, they, uh, it turns out, I said, what are these young kids doing? It turns out it's Lee University. I thought it was some kids out there planting marijuana in there, you know, thinking the cops wouldn't look. Mm-hmm. But it's um, uh, the city has asked the Lee University if its ground screws would take over the landscaping. That's pretty nice to get them to do it, and then they're not going to charge us. So. Fro Daddy, you're live on Whoop. Hey, I was uh, wanting to know if you could play another Zero Doubt track. That was awesome. Well, we'll get some on. I can't. I don't have time today, but we'll get some on. You just call me tomorrow. I'll try it again. All right, man. Appreciate it. All right, man. All righty, then. Who's this calling in? Oh, uh, this is uh, Josh Bullard. Josh, what's up, man? Oh. You like a little Nate? Oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah, that was awesome. Cool. Uh, rap. We'll try to get it on. Do what? I said, we'll try to get her on tomorrow now when we get in here about 3 o'clock if you'll call me. All right, man. All right, bye-bye. Heads up. Hey, we've already had a request for Nate. Some more Nate, Mando. Well, wow, that's pretty good, ain't But anyway, I was sitting here, the uh, Mando over the city. Uh, what what are you eating? It really sounds good over there. <laughs> yep, yep. Excuse Must me. be one of those uh, Jamaican candies. Uh, how did you know my breath stinks? Uh, for some reason, uh, yeah. Fro Daddy, you're live on Whoop. Hey, it's Sid. Sid. Sid Vicious. Hey, I bought a... Hey, hey, hey. I bought a flat screen TV down there at, uh, what are you talking about? Pine Shop. Uh, U.S. Money Shop. Oh, I love it. There you go, baby. What size is it? Huh? Well, how many inches? Oh, it's, just, it's only fitness. None of your damn business. Well, I don't ask the question, by God. What is it, uh, 36 inch? 26. Oh, a little bit. Oh, you talking about the TV? Yeah, it's fantastic, though. Yeah, but do you have to give an arm or a leg for it? I didn't have to. I got a good deal on it. Oh, well, you it was under $100. No. <laughs> My door doesn't even have a TV. He doesn't know what the you hell You don't know what I've got, Frankenstein. Every, everything you own has been stolen by kleptomaniacs. Don't worry about my klepto. Oh, this one's new. Yeah, oh, Lord, a new one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I declare. I've got a warning and everything. All right, well, good for you. Give it to the klepto. They beat Walmart's prices all pieces. Hell yeah, now. I'm gonna make a rap. Hey, they uh, they uh, give it to the the they sponsor us down here, you know. So I'm gonna talk good about them, you know. Yeah. Hell yeah, that's where Maddo will be over there to buy him that nineteen dollar bicycle. He's just too bad he spent six hundred fifty on another one, just as good. But I gave it to the clip toes. All right, Sid, we'll see. You. Hey, yeah, the clip toes. Hey, no, they got me two <laughs> twice in a week. Yeah, he ain't real bright when it comes to hiding. I'll stuff. tell you what, you don't have to be bright on your own property. I didn't know you had to chain doors. Didn't what do you want to hear, Sid? I start chaining that up. Hey, you want me to play a song? Yeah. What do you want to hear? Uh, you want me to play you a song? What are you going to play it on? Well, my guitar. I go ahead. What are you going to hear? I got got manager right over here, but uh, I don't know what. I mean, you want me to play you a song? Yeah, what you want to hear, Matador? Deliverance. Deliverance. Play the Deliverance theme. Play what? Del- I well, I can do that on guitar, but. Well, Matador will do the banjo part. Uh, uh, Matador, put your pants back on. Come play on. Amazing Grace or something exciting. Hey, what about. Hey, let's this. What this? Is this Pope County Jail? Is this a Wildwood Flower? That ain't you playing. That's a record. That's a CD. Well, me and my brother used to wander around and smoke the weed. And go to town on... Well, we didn't find no harm. Just wander around behind the little animals. For a half a pint <laughs> of whiskey. It's, I never saw no harm. Take a trip and never leave the farm. My name is Jimmy Brown. <laughs> <laughs> but he 